So, Dr. Zakir, Ramadan is a month of opportunities. It's a month of blessed opportunities. What are the conditions that a person needs to have these deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The basic two conditions are, number one, is the intention. It should only be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no one else. Whatever deed you do, it should only be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no one else. This is very important. If this condition is not met, then all your deeds are wasted. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Bayyana, chapter number 98, verse number 5, it says that you worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you do it only for him and for no one else. It is further mentioned in Surah Insan, chapter number 76, verse number 9. It says that we have fed you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do not require any reward from you, nor do we require any returns. That means if you feed someone, it is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not seeking a reward or not seeking anything in return. This is a very important factor that we should note. All your actions should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a very important factor. And further it's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 20, that if you do a deed for the tilt, for the reward in the hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply your reward, your tilt in the hereafter. And if you do a deed or any action for a reward in this world, Allah will give you the reward in this world, but you'll have no share in the hereafter. Allah repeated that message in Surah Hud. Chapter number 11, verse number 15 and 16, that anyone who seeks the reward in this world or does any deed for this world and for the glitter of this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will surely give him in this world, but he will have no share in the hereafter except fire, except hell. And all his deeds will not be useful in the hereafter. So therefore, whatever we do should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second caliph of Islam, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, hadith number one, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, Innam al-amala bidniya, which means your deeds are judged on your intention. And the Prophet further said that all your actions are based on your intention. And anyone who has migrated for Allah and His Rasul, he has migrated for Allah and His Rasul. If anyone has an hijra migrated for the worldly benefits or for marriage, he has migrated for the worldly benefits and marriage. So niya is very important. And this is further repeated in another hadith in Sahih Muslim, volume number four. Hadith number 7114, it says that our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that I am alone sufficient. I do not require any associate. And if anyone does any deed for anyone else, as well as for me, I renounce that for the person who he has associated to. That means you can't do part of the deed for Allah and part for someone else. You have to do completely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only for him and no one else. Allah does not like anyone associating anything with him. That's very important. So this is the basic point that is the niya. The second point to be noted for our deed to be acceptable is that our deed should be based on the sharia. It should be in accordance to Allah and his Accordance to the teachings of the Quran and teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number three, hadith number 4267, where our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if your deeds and actions are not according to our way, according to the religion of Islam, according to Quran and Sahih Hadith, then that is rejected. That means for your deeds to be accepted, it should be according to Quran and Sahih Hadith. And it's also mentioned in another Sahih Hadith of Abu Dawud, volume number three, 
hadith number 4950, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said that he told the people that follow my example and the example of Khulfa Rashidin. That's the rightly guided caliphs. So if you follow them and cling to it with eye teeth, that means strongly follow it. The sunnah of the Prophet, my sunnah, the Prophet said that his sunnah, his way, and the way of the Khulfa Rashidin, that is rightly guided caliphs. So for a deed to be accepted, a niya should be only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it should be according to the Sharia, Quran and Sahih Hadith.